All right, here's an Apple time capsule. I start to act up a little bit. I don't know if it's heat related or not. I'm gonna assume it is. Because it's pretty warm. It's not really well designed in regards to heat dissipation. So we're gonna try a few tricks to help cool it off. If that doesn't work, we'll disassemble it. Check the power supply. All right, put those four chips up under it. All right, that'll give it a little bit of room. It's better than nothing. All right, we're gonna put this little heat sink on it. See if that helps a little bit, dissipating any of the heat. We've just rigged it up to a little, uh, little cheap power supply. Okay, I don't know where the power supply is located, but this feels the warmest. We could probably go online and try to find something, but just for right now, I'm just going to set that right there. Just bought this little jack, plug it in. Puts off a decent, decent little amount of air. Hopefully this itself will absorb some of that heat and dissipate it. And then just the air flowing by. I really need to get a little fan under it. But this is just temporary. We'll see if that helps improve it. We're probably going to have to disassemble it and replace the power supply. Okay, now after running for more than a day... This thing's not even warm to the touch. We're going to raise it up a little bit higher to get a little bit of air up under here so we didn't trap all that heat. And this fan really cooled it off a good bit. The problem is it's a 12 volt fan. Runs a little faster, a little louder than I would like and uses a little bit more power than I would like. It really didn't drive well at 5 volts. But I have another 12 volt fan that actually runs at the speed I want at 5 volts. So we're going to try it, see if it can keep it just as cool. Okay, here it is powered with 12 volts. That's a little louder than I would like. I don't really think I need that much airflow. So what I'm going to do is hook up the, uh, the 5 volt power supply. Okay, here we are with 5 volts off just a little USB phone charger. It's a lot quieter. You really can't hear it. It still, still pushes air. That's all I need. It's just a little bit of, little bit of airflow on top and then maybe possibly a little bit down here. But I doubt it. So we need to let this run for a day. If it keeps it as cool as the other 12 volt then we'll be we'll be fine and then for some reason on a hot day or if it was extra warm I could always bump this back up to 12 volts okay we've had a little time pass with this fan it still seems to keep everything pretty cool so it's uh it's a lot cooler than it was this thing ran pretty hot with no fan when it sat directly flat I think that's one of the bigger the bigger problems right here is no airflow under there just lifting it up by itself probably reduced the heat an awful lot and the fan just helps out some more 